how I started. Well, I started in power plant studios 31 years ago in 1990. I was a T-boy. Uh, my first job was cleaning up the pigeon shit outside on um, Wilston High Road. Um, and uh, it was an old school apprenticeship in those days. There was no real recording courses uh, or anything like that. So uh, I just learned watching engineers and trying and failing to shut up. So at the moment, I've just got Seventh Heaven and Cinematic Rooms. With the reverb, it's often not the long ones. It's the short ones that show that show a plug-in or a, or a unit's quality in you know. We are all in quite small spaces so often our ears are very attuned to what that kind of three-dimensionality sounds like. You're not often in a cathedral. So when you hear like a four and a half second reverb tale, you probably just believe that that's about right because you're guessing kind of thing. But we're all in rooms that have reverb times of under a second most of the time. So those are much harder to make believable, I think. There's no perception of white noise in the tale. Uh, everything's very, very smooth and there's a, you, you believe in the space kind of thing. It doesn't, it doesn't feel in any way fake. Honestly, without any hyperbole, that's pretty much the best reverb I've, I've, I've heard. I, I think it's astounding. You know, I knew that it was going to be amazing for strings, you know, and stuff, you know, that's, that was, I went into it assuming because I do use quite a bit of strings on, on the stuff that I do. And quite often we'll be recording four guys and tracking it up. So you are looking to create space and you're going to be leaning on uh, a lush reverb, you know, a fair bit. So I knew it was going to be amazing for that. But as soon as I heard it and I heard the, the reality in the space, my, my mind just immediately went to drums. And I was like, you know, and I just straight away put it on snare and, and in the like, you know, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 kind of uh, region. And there's, there's some presets like um, tight room and heavy room. And just playing around with the pre-delay and stuff on that the snare just didn't, it wasn't reverb at all. It was just space. Just, that's not even the right word, size. It was just like, all of a sudden the snare just went from this to this, but without any kind of messy tail or anything. Oh, it's like, this is, this is really good. I'm using it more on drums than anything else in music mixing. Um, and anything that needs to sit in a believable space, uh, I'm fine. I'm finding I'm reaching for that more than for sampling reverbs, you know, which is, that's a first. They really are, in my opinion, the best, the best sounding reverb plugins without any, without any shadow of a doubt, really. I can't really think of anything that's in serious competition for real spaces.